Let's support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUBRRY004. Hello, Internet. I'm Scott with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network at CES 2025. We're here at Showstoppers, and I've got a dog collar behind me. We'll find out about that in just a second. But first, go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Great. Uh, my name's David. I'm uh, Product Marketing Director at Satellite, the maker of said dog collar that you're talking about. And we don't just have a dog collar, we also have a dog tracker. And you know, I'm gonna let you know just up front, like these aren't just normal things because these are the world's first satellite and AI driven pet wearables. All right, so that's that's two separate claims. Let's do one at a time. Let's talk about satellite first. Where does the satellite come into play? Okay, so the satellite comes into play. Uh, it's a bit stronger on the tracker than the collar because the tracker integrates a Qualcomm 9205S modem, which gives it a direct satellite uplink uh, so it's always sending a signal even away from terrestrial cell phone towers. But both products work with GNSS, which is a global navigation satellite system, uh, to work with five satellite constellations to provide connectivity in 180 countries over 680 networks. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, so that's a lot of coverage. I think so. Uh, I mean, basically we're, what we're looking for is to be able to provide worldwide coverage. And obviously that's much better than, say, just one that connects to T-Mobile and crosses its fingers and hopes. You've got the ability with the track, that's the square one, right? The tracker to connect to the satellite. So even if you're away from cellular, you've still got data? That is my understanding, yes. I, I do have to admit I'm not the engineer on this, but from the questions I talk to the engineers and the way I understand it, that that is the case. Very cool. Now. Let's talk about the AI side of this. What, where is AI coming into play in a dog collar? So the AI actually really combines with our health and behavior tracking, as well as advice for training your dog. So our company's background with our founders, their background was in human smart wearables. And so they've kind of found ways to adapt a lot of that technology to be better suited towards pets. And you know, first, you know, first is adapting the sensors to be able to detect these things in, in pets in the first place. And then the second part is being able to collect the data to say what's going on with your pet. And where this really goes to the next level, I think, over what's currently available is not only does it provide these baselines about your dog and what their activity habits have been over time, um, even with the tracking, it can show you where you've been over time, by the way. But beyond that, there will actually be an integrated assistant that you can ask questions about your dog and it will tell you. Okay. So we're looking at things like, oh, how's my dog doing this week? And it can tell you if your dog, you know, wasn't running as much recently as it has been before and, you know, make recommendations on getting your dog more active. Where if you say, oh, you know, my dog doesn't seem so active, it might even be able to make recommendations based on breed characteristics on things you can ask your, pet, your vet about. You know, so, you know, for instance, like common problems for certain breeds, then it would say, hey, talk to your vet about this. But, you know, if you really don't know what's going on, definitely go to a vet. Um, and, you know, this can really combine with the health tracking to say, you know, something's going on and alert you. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's cool. I hadn't, I hadn't considered applying the AI to look for, like, breed-specific like uh, health conditions based on activity. That's that's interesting. Yeah, that is one of our, our goals. And, you know, we already, you know, there's already information about common breed problems. So this is a really, this is a relatively easy place to start. You know, people have known for a long time, at least with purebred dogs, what are the common problems? And then, you know, as we get more data, we can expand that to be able to cover more and more dogs. And even beyond breed, I think like every dog is unique and distinctive. So to be able to have something that can monitor your dog's change, your dog's habits and behavior over time, to give you specific insight about your specific dog, that can be huge. I mean, even beyond just like what kind of data you can share with your vet, just to be able to know like what's going on at home, well, that's, that's big, I think. For sure. So let's talk about availability on the products. Uh, are they on the market? Are they coming soon? What does that look like? 
They are coming soon. Right now we've got the collar slated for release in February. Soon. Yeah. And the satellite tracker, we're still, we're not totally confirmed, but we're looking for probably a quarter two release. Um, and right now we're thinking to do a crowdfunding campaign for it. Um, though that hasn't been totally finalized. So it may or may not just depend on how the situation shapes up. But we're looking at quarter two uh, softly for the, the tracker to follow up. Very cool. And uh, if people want to follow the journey, find out when they launch, things like that, how can they do it? Great. So probably the best way would be to follow our social media, which would just be our brand name, Satellite. And I'm sure you, you could find us on Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. And uh, for our website, we're Satellite.com. So S-A-T-E-L-L-A-I dot C-O-M, Satellite.com. So hopefully... That gives you everything you need to know, and you can always contact us directly. We have contact information on our website as well. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. These things are really interesting, and I can't wait to see them on the market. My pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. For continuing CES 2025 coverage, stay tuned to PluckHitsLive.com. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2025 coverage is executive produced by Adam Barker. Technical director is Kirk Corliss. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Tracy Ingram, Xerxes Goddard, Brandy Jackson, and Aviva Cram. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, and Scott Ertz. Studio and equipment are provided by Plunkett's Productions. The TPN Studio Executive is Todd Cochran. This has been a Tech Podcast Network production, copyright 2025.